On May 28, 2019, a custom, lightweight, miniaturized, and trackable probe was launched by Model Rocket into an EF-4 tornado south of Lawrence, Kansas. The rocket was launched from the inflow notch of the supercell at 6.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time, reached Apogee at 439 meters above ground level, and released the parachute probe directly into the tornado core flow. The parachute probe is driven by the tornadic winds while measuring pressure, temperature, relative humidity, and GPS at 10 Hz resolution. This data is also streamed in real time from the probe to a receiver on the ground using long-range radio. Oh my god! Get it out of your side, Mark! Get it out of your side! A maximum GPS speed of 85.1 meters per second was measured by the probe during the first revolution around the tornado, while a maximum pressure deficit of minus 113.5 HPA was sampled just above the ground. They're coming up at 18,000 feet. They're at 18,000 feet. The rocket's at 18,000 feet in the air. A peak updraft speed of 65.0 meters per second was recorded in the upper part of the tornado around 2,000 meters MSL before the probe experienced rapid tilted ascent in the mesocyclone to a peak altitude of nearly 12,000 meters. The probe was recovered the next day without damage 51 kilometers from the launch location. The data presented here are the first ever direct 3D measurements of thermodynamics and wind from inside a tornado. After years of trial and error, it was determined that the speed of the model rockets would be required to penetrate the sinking air that often surrounds a mature tornado. The goal of the model rocket method is to deliver a lightweight pseudo-Lagrangian probe into a tornado such that the probe moves along with the tornadic winds with the GPS speed of the probe equivalent to the wind speed. The rocket was launched from the custom-built armored storm chasing vehicle called the Dominator 3. The steel-based armor and polycarbonate windows provide protection from flying debris. Mounted to the roof of the Dominator 3 is a custom-engineered rocket launcher with pan and tilt capability. Simulations and test launches were performed to understand how the rocket would behave in a near tornado environment. The authors designed and built this miniaturized probe to capture high resolution meteorological data from inside a tornado. Live tracking and data transmission were important such that data could still be collected even if the probes are lost in the extreme conditions of the tornado. The lightweight probe has onboard miniaturized sensors for pressure, temperature, humidity, GPS, and a three axis inertial measurement unit. The entire mass of the probe is only 30 grams, including the battery. The probe uses long-range radio to transmit data to a ground station at a frequency of 1 Hz, as seen here in action. On May 28, 2019, a moderate risk for severe weather was issued by the Storm Prediction Center across northern Kansas and Missouri. A robust upper-level trough was ejecting across the Great Plains with ample wind shear and instability for supercell storms across the risk area. An outflow boundary was draped across northeastern Kansas from overnight storms, and an advancing dry line would initiate a long track supercell over the Flint Hills by mid afternoon. The backed low level winds near the outflow boundary would set the stage for a violent tornado. The National Weather Service Damage Survey confirmed a 51.2 kilometer long track with the Lawrence to Linwood EF4 tornado. The parent supercell was of the high precipitation class. Therefore, it was critical to launch the rocket from the inflow zone just northeast of the tornado where hail is less of a threat. A southwesterly storm motion of 21 meters per second was derived from radar and used to plot the storm relative wind and pressure perturbations sampled by the probe. The strongest pressure deficits of greater than minus 100 HPA also coincide with the strongest wind speeds during these revolutions around the tornado. This shows that the probe sampled the radius of maximum wind or the tornado core flow. The probe clearly sampled the mesocyclone of the supercell above an altitude of 4,300 meters MSL, with a straight trajectory of rapid tilted ascent at speeds of over 80 meters per second to a peak altitude of nearly 12,000 meters. The pseudo-Lagrangian flight of the probe can limit airflow across the temperature and relative humidity sensors, so some corrections had to be made to the temperature data using a nearby sounding as a reference. Note the warmer temperatures measured by the probe inside of the tornado as compared to what would be expected at that altitude in the ambient environment. While this study shows a successful launch of a single probe into a tornado and the first ever three-dimensional direct measurements of thermodynamics and wind inside of a tornado, the goal of future related work is to launch multiple sensors into the tornado simultaneously. Then the thermodynamic gradients would be able to be measured, which truly modulate the strength and behavior of tornadoes.